The return after the Jeremy incident became open to the city, people hardly went to visit the library. Some believed it and some thought it was just a misunderstanding. They thought it was just to scare kids. Dot was it a group of three friends, Michael, Simon, and James were having a sleepover. Michael and James hated books when Simon was a bookworm. None of the teens believed the library incident and were talking about how silly it was to assume that things like ghosts exist. To prove that the haunted library news is fake, they decided to visit the library the following morning. After a brief conversation about how they wouldn't be scared of anything and fight the ghost, these very confident teenagers went to bed. After eating breakfast, they headed out to investigate. As there was nothing to investigate, they decided to just get some nice hot chocolate and talk. There was a cafe not that far away so Michael and James went out to grab some drinks leaving Simon behind, as he wanted to borrow a book to read. Simon suddenly noticed a strange smell coming from a direction. He suspiciously searched around until he found the source of the smell. It was a pale red book. As soon as he picked the book up, the smell stopped. That surely was unusual. The book had no title as well as page numbers. That was uncommon. He decided to borrow it. Till then his friends came back and they talked for a while before going back home. At home, Simon started reading the book. The details were oddly specific. The story was about a child named Daniel. Daniel, who had no friends and was lonely most of the time. He Daniel had loving parents and a one-year-old sister. Daniel's loneliness turned into depression. The book also mentioned something about an imaginary friend and Daniel and the friend seemed to have made a promise to stay best friends for life. This reminded Simon of something from his past. After a week when Simon had finished the book, he was laying on his bed and suddenly he realized. Simon was. Daniel. All the details hinted at that fact. Simon quickly got up to go outside for some fresh air. Suddenly, the room started shaking and Simon fell to the ground. His vision was blurred and he fainted. When he woke up he was in a dark place. He commanded the one who brought him there to reveal themselves, his body shivering with fear and eyes full of tears. Dust particles started gathering and formed a human shape. It turned out Simon's childhood imaginary friend had come back craving revenge and violence, because Simon had forgotten about him when he had promised not to. The neighborhood heard painful screaming that day. It's said that people still hear screaming for help coming from his house to this day. What exactly happened to Simon no one knows and probably will never know. Let's just say, some things are better left unknown. The end.